So on October 4th, I had a gunshot accident. It missed my heart by an inch, missed my aorta by millimeters. It went through my canal and paralyzed me. I got a call from Springfield Detectives about 11.30 in the morning on October 4th. He said that she had been shot. She had already coded three times, once in the ambulance on the way to Springfield, twice in the hospital. Um, they said that the bullet was lodged in her spinal cord. And that's when Care Flight had arrived. They were preparing her to take her to Miami Valley. Um, I walked into the room and she was gray and ice cold. And she looked at me and one tear went down her eye. She couldn't talk. They had her on a ventilator. We got activated for a patient transfer from Springfield coming back to Miami Valley. And um, en route, we were told that uh, this patient had a gunshot wound to the left chest. They loaded her up and me and her dad went out in the parking lot and watched her fly away. And then we drove to here. So we were told when we got to bedside that she had cardiac arrested three times prior to our arrival. Um, when we moved her over to our aircraft litter, she cardiac arrested again. We performed CPR for about two minutes. We got her pulse back and then we left. Um, in route, we had a pulse the entire time and then we lost her pulse again when we got to the ER. She was a uh, CAT1 alert, which is the highest level of trauma activation that we can have. OR was already uh, available and ready if we needed to go to the OR, and we had, we alerted blood bank that we probably gonna need to transfuse her blood as soon as she, get, she got here. So no blood pressure, no pulse, no cardiac motion. Uh, we knew that she was in cardiac arrest, and at that time we decided that we were gonna do a thoracotomy, um, basically opening a, up her left chest um, immediately, um, basically you know a couple minutes after she got to us. Um, and we did that. We opened up her pericardium, which is the lining around her heart, to see if there was any blood in there, if there's any cardiac injury. We didn't see any blood in there, so uh, we, we did open cardiac massage, meaning we did internal CPR. We did internal compression on her heart. Um, we also started you know, pumping a large amount of blood in her, and we um, also shocked her internally and we actually got a pulse back. And at that time, once we got the pulse back, we decided that we were gonna take her to the OR to explore her left chest to see if there was any bleeding that we could stop. That's when Dr. Wong came out and said she's gonna be okay. They said the next 24 hours was just critical. So I stayed with her. remember much of my stay. I don't rem remember much of being in rehab or anything. She got off the ventilator about five days, five or six days after her accident. A lot shorter than sh they thought she would. And then after that, after she was off the ventilator and she could talk to me, I knew she was going to be okay. I started at Rio, which is the Rehabilitation Institute of Ohio. It was really hard there to start because of my blood pressure it was really bad and I couldn't get up. And it was harder to try and sit into my chair because my back wasn't healed. And then I got it and then I learned how to roll over and sit up and it's been up since then. Physical therapy is helping her a lot. Her motivation um, to get better, her family support is also very important. Um, and that she's just, she, you know, everybody is just kind of encouraging her. And with this, with the um, progression of her motor and sensory kind of slowly coming back, it's kind of, it's really hopeful that she'll be able to um, be able to walk again. But a lot of it is, is herself. She's very, she's a very motivated person. 
I've walked on exoskeleton, I've walked in my leg braces, and I have complete, well not complete feeling, but I can feel a lot from my waist down. She'll get there. I mean, she's overcame more than what she should have. Like, she had a 0.6% chance of living. She can't walk like us, but she can walk. She's got leg braces that she just got a couple weeks ago. First time in therapy that she got to stand up, she stood up on parallel bars. Legs didn't collapse, she just stood there, strong as can be. My mom helps me get through a lot of my bad days. You just gotta be patient and let time take its time to heal you and get you through everything and make the bad days good and stay positive through it all. I owe Dr. Wong my life. Like, if it could have been a different doctor and it could have just went a completely different way. Like, she just is amazing. Thank you.